Hi everyone and welcome to Ms. B Meds Teacher Channel. Today I'm gonna talk about Neplin Year 9 Non-Calculator 1. So and um, let's just start with the questions. So the question one here is uh, talking about Jen is making this um, brick pattern. So it's a few different shapes and then we do have the table um, that shows the number of um, bricks she needs uh, for each shape in her pattern. So they're talking here already about pattern. So let's have a look, you know, um, if we can find the pattern. So um, we can see if there's a shape one, it's only one brick. Shape two, it's four. So the number has increased here by three. So and then from four to nine, number has increased by five. Then from 9 to 16 has increased by 7. So we can see every time, um, you know, we're going to have um, the next shape, the number of bricks, it does increase by 2. So we are assuming um, that the next one should be 7 plus 2, it's 9. So therefore, so that you now we have to check, you know, the previous number or um, which is 16. So 16 plus 9 is going to give us um, 25. So 16 plus 9 is 25. So that would be the answer. Question 2. The table shows the length and width of uh, rectangles with an area of 20 centimeters cubed. So um, we can see um, length and width. Which graph shows the information in the table for length against width? Length against width. So length is on horizontal axis, horizontal axis, and width is on the vertical. So pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check a few numbers and see if it does match. So 1 and 2. When length is 1, so width um, is 20. So and this one, so pretty much all of them, you know, um, are true for the first one. Um, let's check um, if you want the last one. So uh, when length is 20, it's 20, it does look correct. This one doesn't, when length is 20, it, it does look like width is 20 as well. So we can cross out this one here. Um, length 20, width 1, so it looks correct. And this one looks correct as well. So um, we still have... Um, you know, three to go through to eliminate um, two. Now let's have a look at um, two and 10. So when length is equal to two, width is 10. So length is equal to two. So that's approximately here, isn't it? So length is two and width is 10. So there, so we don't have any um, dots there. So it's not this one either. Um, to, so it's it's harder to uh, we can assume this one here two ten no so pretty much it looks like is the last one if this is two there's ten so there's one point there and let's check for one more so when ten is um, when length is ten it looks like uh, width is two so yeah that would be correct one so we're gonna choose the last one and please make sure that you shade one bubble if you um you know when you're gonna have this um naplan. Um, okay, next one. Um, uh, question three. A ramp makes an angle of 35 degrees with the ground. So, and um, this one here. Um, this angle here is 90. So, we do know because this is um, how we explain annotation for 90 degrees. And um, we do know the sum of all angles. All angles sum. Um sum of all angles um, in triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So if this is 90, we do know uh, we still need 90 to, um, you know, from the other two. So, which means 35 plus A or alpha, I'm not sure, you know, if that, if they mean alpha by that, or A, a angle A should be equal to 90. And from here, A is equal to 90, take away 35. Um, if you're just thinking what, what happened with 35, pretty much I took away 35 on this side and I did the same on 
the other side. So that would give us, you know, this expression, uh, an equation. So 90 take away 35 um, is going to give us 55 degrees. So this is the one way of doing it. So you can add all angles equal to 180 and find um, angle A. It doesn't make any difference. You know, it depends how um, you can see um, the question. Question four. The points many scored on uh, his last 10 basketball games are listed. So 9, 11, and so on. Um, so he put these scores into a stem and leaf plot. So stem is like, you know, um, the number represent tens here, a leaf, um, you know, units. So it's like three, zero, it means 30. So, um, yep, that one is included. Two, one, so it means 21. So like 21, then two, two, 22, two, two, 22. So you can see that every time we use stem, so stem is a base, and then we add one number at a time from leaf. So 21, then 22, 22. So it's like 21, 22, 22. I can't find 20 anyway, so because the next one is 1, 1, which is 11, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 8. Um, so everything else has been listed, but 20 is not there. So, um, so we're going to say... What, uh, which score is missing from the play, plot is um, 20. Um, which pair of solid objects cannot be joined together to make a cube? So um, just be careful here with the question if they're asking cannot or can be joined. Sometimes um, that's a little bit, um, you know, if you don't pay attention to the question, you may, um, you know, not answer it correctly. Um, so this one um, cannot, so th the first one pretty much it can be if you just, you know, um, put this like flat uh, on top or, you know, try to put on top that this one, uh, it's, you know, it would be correct. Um, those two, they are same, uh, which pretty much is just, you know, if you ro rotate one of those, um, it should be fine. And um, this one here, if I rotate this one a little bit like that, I can see the, you know, two same uh, pieces and then flip them around, um, you know, it should give you a cube. And therefore, the last one, and if you try to flip it, rotate it, you're going to see um, it doesn't, doesn't um, fit together. Uh, because um, if I'm trying to put this part on top of, this one or even on that side so this taller one is gonna clash with this taller one so um so therefore um the part the last one uh, would be the answer okay question six um is a seating plan for uh for part of an airplane rob is sitting in window seat number 2a so 2a is window so this is rob window seat um and um we do have key here taken rob empty window um peter wants to sit in a window seat in a window seat as close as possible to the front of the plane so we can see that the first uh preference is window seat so um this this one this seat here is um free but is not window one so we're just gonna yeah ignore it this those two are free as well but they're not window so the only windows are you know on this side and this side so we're gonna look okay so it does look like 3f is the window seat closest to the front so um i mean there are seats closer to the front but uh, peter wants to have window one so that is gonna be what did we say? Three F. So one Australian dollars buys zero point eight US dollars. So one Australian Australian dollars buys um US zero point eight. So how many US dollars could be bought with fifty Australian dollars? Fifty. So it, if I multiply this by you know fifty. 
so it's gonna give me 50 and then multiply this by 50 as well because we have 50 dollars so it is gonna give you half is 40 dollars 40 dollars so um you may try one australian dollars 0 0.8 you can say 10 australian dollars is um eight american dollars and so on and then you're gonna have you know five of those then ten and ten and ten and ten would be eight and eight and eight and eight would give you 40 as well so you know it depends again you know how you feel comfortable doing this question so i'm just gonna erase this part here so um i have a little bit more space if i need to um, show you working out for the next question um, okay so next one question eight computer ship has dimension eight by eight uh, millimeters a scale drawing is shown below uh, what scale is used in the drawing so we have four centimeters so and we can see one centimeter one centimeter so if I'm gonna go like you know this one two there's like four um, if one centimeter represents five millimeters, this is then five, then this is five, 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 that would be 40 millimeters. And we just need eight. So it can't be the first one. So let's check another one. If one centimeter represents two millimeters. So um, if it's this one here, two, if it's like two, then next one two then next one two and two so we're gonna see all together we're gonna have eight millimeters so therefore this the second one is correct answer um let's have a look at question nine um square a b c d and m and p q are shown below so and we can see that a b c d is within m and p q so looking at the answer here it says that a b c d which is smaller it says twice the area so um that's not correct and then it says four times the area so pretty much the saying it's bigger than you know the big square so that can't be true so let's see what um you know is it half the area or is it the quarter so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have um a line of symmetry and another line of symmetry so pretty much uh, the big square has been divided into four squares uh, four smaller squares and um, if you look like each of these smaller square has one two um, equal triangles one two one two one two so all together we have eight triangles in the big one in um m n p q so and um now but we want to know how big is a b c d so we're gonna look okay i b c d so we have one triangle two three four so we have four triangle which is half of um the big one so therefore we're gonna choose the first one as an answer so half the area of m M and P Q. Um, question ten. There are fifty marbles in a bag, so total is fifty. Ten marbles are red. Red we have ten. The others are black. So black. Uh, what's left? If the total is fifty, if the total is fifty, then black has to be forty. Um, Emma picks a marble from the bag without looking. What is the chance of her picking a red marble? So there are 10 um, all together, uh, 10, and then inside, is it red marble? Yep, 10 out of 50. So all together is 50. We can see that we don't have any answer here given like 10 over 50 or 2 in 10. So, um, so what we're going to do is pretty much um, try to simplify. So it's like... Um, if I just cross zeros, because um, you can just divide by 10 and it's going to give us 1, 5. But then again, we don't have that 1 in 5. So it says 1 in 10. No, 1 in 5. So um, what I'm going to do here, I can see it's like 1 in 10, 10, 10, 10. 
um, pretty much I'm gonna try to make these um, times by two, my, make 10 times by two, it's gonna be two, 10. Uh, not 50, but 10. So two, let me just rewrite that part here. Okay, two tenths. Um, so this is the chance that um, she's gonna pick red marble two in 10. Um, the next one, uh, we do have a square A, B, C, D, and we do know if um, shape um, is square, then the length is the same as the width. So they're the same. So therefore, if they're the same, um, we can say that um, 3x take away 5 is equal to x plus 1, because the same, the same length. So we have to find what is the value of x. Now we're just going to do a little bit of algebra. So I'm um, collecting like terms. I'm going to um, get rid of x on this side by taking away and then, you know, doing the same thing on the, on the other side. We will end up with um, 3x take away x is 2x. We still have negative 5 equal to, that's gone, and 1. Um, and now I'm going to get rid of five from um, left hand side it's plus five plus five both sides so that's gonna give me uh, negative five plus five is gone so 2x equal to six and if you divide both sides by two so it's gonna give you x equal to three so that would be the answer for this one so uh, what is the value of x is equal to three Okay, beautiful. So this would be uh, part one of year nine non-calculator uh, NEPLAN. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.